Hello and welcome everybody, this is MOS. I wanted to quickly show you the new server, since the old one fucked up, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so what happened is, um, this is a little jerky since I'm recording and doing a bunch of stuff, but here's the wilderness. This is how it's working, that's uh, Lucy over there, and there's some, uh, some other person on the server, I don't remember who. Um, point is, here's the new server, it's a little bit different. I own this center square and the the eight around it. I own this nine in a uh, place called Pooperton. This is the main starting town. It will be expanded. People will get plots, but they have to contribute, etc., etc. Um, in here is all the different kinds of uh, like tutorial stuff of all the different mods in there. There's quite a few. So I want to say here, there's different kinds of chats. There's a local chat, which is default. And there's a global chat, which everybody can hear. Town chat for only people in your town. Nation chat for people in your nation. Mod admin for mods. Here are the rules. Uh, only mine when you're far away from all towns. That is, if you can see the town from here, you should not be mining there. So for instance, you see those cactuses over there? If you're past that, you can go mine. If you're closer than that, you shouldn't be mining. Another one, be respectful and have fun. Seriously, just, you know, that's just good. You know, have good manners, don't be an asshole. It's pretty simple. Um, and please do not create too many towns. Towns actually cost quite a bit. I've set the price pretty high on purpose because I wanted people to be in the in towns and have towns be quite large before anything happens, like people expand off. So um, towns cost 2500 to uh, to do so, if you wanted to make your own town, you'd have to have twenty five hundred bucks. If you want to make a nation, that's ten thousand. Right now, there's two people in in this um, starting one. I'll add more people in as they want to join. Well, they can just be off on their own. It's no big deal. Um, you have permissions to do whatever you want outside of any town. So that as you could build, you could destroy whatever. But again, same rule follows. If you're within sight of town, don't be building, uh, don't be mining. Although you can destroy trees outside of towns, that's fine. Um, yeah, so trees within sight of town, fine. Uh, mining have to be way far away from towns. And um, when it comes to uh, building again far away from towns or in a town spot that you've bought, which I'll get, which you can like look at when you um, look through all these towny uh, commands. Their skills, which you just saw, <clears throat> Lucy got her skill. Skills, you can check your skills, check the what each skill does, like for instance, um, skill wood cutting, or skill check wood cutting. Check wood cutting. Oops. Skills check wood cutting uh, it tells you what your remaining thing is okay and if you do skills you can see your skills so there's my skills unarmed acrobatic swimming axes digging mining farming archery wood cutting and swords basically some cool stuff here's another thing there's inns in this game you can create inns so at night I could sleep here for a cost of ten dollars and it would restore five hearts worth of thing, because 10 is half a heart. Uh, here's a guest bed, which means anybody can sleep here, but it doesn't restore health. Uh, inns for money and health, guest beds, anyone can sleep. There's dynamic economy. So, for instance, let's say I wanted to sell oops, sell rotten flesh to oops, I didn't know I don't know how to spell rotten, do I? Sell Rotten flesh two or three, whatever. But I, I can't do it. But anyway, here's the thing: glowstone. The guy sold a thing of glowstone for five dollars thirty nine cents, and the price went down because he sold it. If you went and you bought one, it would go up. That's basically how it works. You can um, get the price of something. If you need to look up what it is, you or the ID, you can use the ID of it as well. Dynamic econ gives you um, all the different things that's like a help thing is it is there stock is there boundaries there are no boundaries in case you're wondering stock yes there is stock so there's only a limited amount of each object if you want more you have to go get them or make them yourself which means prices will go up higher 
uh, economy. So money, money help, lottery. There's a lottery in here. So if you want to, you know, join the lottery, you can buy it for five bucks. Lightweight chest allows you to protect your shit. Pretty good. Um, you know, doors, chests, etc. There's mob bounty. So if you kill stuff, you get money, except for tamed wolves, in which case you lose money. There is treasure hunt, which I just fixed. Uh, allows you to, with this, for instance, if I clicked here, it says no hunts are currently active. And there's a chance that I can lose the rotten flesh while doing this. Um, then there's VIPs can use slash hunt. There are no hunts currently active in this world. It'll tell you the closest one to you. And uh, that's basically what the server is going to be about. Um, to expand a town, I should mention this, to expand a town it costs 100 hundred uh, coins or dollars or whatever. I haven't decided what the currency will be called in the end, but whatever. Um, time set zero, just for demonstration purposes. I've outlined my town here in um, glass, so outside of here. Wilderness inside is mine. So I, that I know where I'm going to be building, because I still have to create like the stuff around the town. There will be town rules, for instance, which I'm going to make. Um, town rules. Um, please s keep the road system in order. The road system in order order. Meaning, when I start the roads, I want them to continue and at least there be some semblance of a road system inside the town so that when you make your house, if there's a part of a road that's going to go part through part of your uh, plot, you, you need to uh, live by that. Um, in general, though, I'm going to not sell the plots that will contain roads because that way, you know, well, people can... All people in the town can build in those plots, but I will ask them not to. I'll put another rule there in a little while, but point is, see, I just leveled up for getting my acrobatics. But, uh, so here's the, this is what the server's like. Uh, it will be expanded. I can sell plots to people, etc., etc. Um, and you can donate. There are taxes in towns, all that, all that fun stuff, you know, how it generally works. Um, so yeah. Guys, join it. Have fun. Uh, sorry about the old server. I really couldn't make it work the way I wanted, but this one's better. It works the way I want to, even if I had to spend like three days making it work. So uh, come join the server. Have fun. And uh, please read all the rules and make sure you understand how everything works. So see you on the server.